beyond breaking points with ME7. Here we are at Daytona Road Course. Now, I've got a decent time, not the best you can get, but I'm gonna have to be happy with it. So this is just my positioning amongst my friends, and we're gonna go in here and watch the replay, and I'll be doing some pointing out of things. Couldn't catch the live run for you. Now this, that's not off track, so you really need to utilize that. Uh, we'll do a more detailed run after this one. Here are the settings that I always use. Tilt B, sensitivity to, all assists off. And that's how I'm used to driving this one, so that's what I'm doing. And I want to show this one to you because you can see I'm losing traction here and there. And a lot of people have asked, why don't you use traction control? There's no way you can go this fast if you're using traction control. Now a huge, huge thing about this, also that isn't off track, but a huge part of this track is happening now. The speedway runs. And I'm gonna show you this uh, after this run is done. It's surprising how much of this course is speedway. So what that means is you really have to do a good job, uh, your braking points and your throttle points here. And some of it's gonna have to be trial and error. And how far can you push the double yellow? Okay, at this portion, you really can't afford to be under that double yellow. You're gonna lose traction. Uh, coming up on this very, very last corner though, you could be pushing it like I just did there. So let's take a look at this track and see the arrows are gonna appear. Look how much of this is speedway. So you really have to maximize your drive onto the speedways. And so let's do this again. That's actually the third dashed line and you wanna be braking there into the throttle at the midpoint of the corner pretty well always. There's a solid line just before that ends. You wanna get on the brakes, start your trajectory at a decent time into the throttle as the car starts to go left. Here, you gotta turn left sooner than you think you can and get on to that more than I did, but I was losing traction. And you know what? No great braking point there. You're just gonna have to feel it out and you don't wanna be sliding like I did there. Some people are doing a drifting technique. I can't get that dialed. Braking about there, stay on track, then take two tires off and get on the throttle early. Now for this next section, you could take two tires way below the double yellow, but it's risky. If the car drifts up a bit like it did there for me, you gotta follow it. So I'm following it because I don't wanna lose traction. Into the brakes, no later than that for me steering a lot earlier than you think and into the throttle and then this finishes out it's very tricky uh, you know best of luck out there i provided two views this time and it's worked pretty good for me i don't know that i'm going to be able to get into group a this week i'm having trouble with the drift technique and uh and that's going to wrap it up now i've got a little bit of comic relief for you there i am losing traction and it's time for a pit stop Bet you didn't know you could do those here. Yep, look, here we are, there's pit road, but where's my crew? Anyhow, <laughs> here are some other links that you might find interesting. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe.